43, welcome back in this morning. Well, if you had an emergency, like a car breaking down or you got laid off from your job, would you have enough cash to make it or would you be stressed financially? I guarantee you the majority of us would feel stressed. Woodard, Woodward Pay is a certified financial planner with the Welch Group and he's here to talk about the importance of your emergency cash reserve fund. Good morning. Good morning. Thank it's, you for having it's me. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, I think we all try to save money and uh, something usually happens and it wipes it out and you think, I don't have enough money to save anymore. But if you don't have that money, what happens? Well, you're uh, typically uh, gonna resort to credit card debt, which uh, you're unlikely to be able to pay off that balance if you're met with a pretty major unexpected expense. And next thing you know, month after month, you're accruing really high interest rate charges. And they never get paid off. It never they they paid don't. Off. Uh, life is uncertain, particularly from a financial standpoint. Mm -hmm. Whether you're well-to-do or struggling to make ends meet, all of us need a liquid reserve of cash because the, the car repair, the medical mm -hmm. expense, the short-term disability, elimination period, uh, loss of a job, all of those yeah. things lead to so what's your advice to people that you counsel? Uh, because at the end of paying the bills, it's, if the money's gone exactly. already, how do you save I, them? I, well, it, there's two things there. One, uh, what would be the goals? So typically about six months of expected monthly cash flow is what needs You're to be reserved. You're talking about what would need to pay the bills, pay the mortgage? Right, okay. so you get to the end of this month and you've paid all your bills and you still have six months worth of cash available to take care of living mm -hmm. for the uh, ensuing period. Okay. Uh, how do you build that up? Uh, not so easy. Uh, the first step would be most of us, we could cut five to 10% of our spending if we were really intentional about it. So you take a look at your expenses for the course of a month and we're all different. Some people got to have a $5 cup of coffee on the mm -hmm. way to work and the rest of us uh, have some other, you know, we like to go out to eat a lot. Uh, but if you get uh, serious about it, there, there are ways to find uh, cuts you can make. And, and I guess it depends on where you are. If you really, like you said, if you get serious about it, cutting back on that nice latte is not <laughs> as bad because you got a goal, right? That, that, that's right, and uh, some people get frustrated in a low interest rate environment of even mm -hmm. holding much cash, uh, but the consequences of not having the cash, uh, every year or two it's gonna be a problem. All right, I'm you. gonna ask you a question because we all get them in the mail. When you get the credit card saying zero interest for, you know, 16, 17, 18 months, Correct. if you transfer a higher interest rate credit card. Do you advise that? Can that work? Uh, it, it can, it absolutely can. But you have to be really careful though because you get the end of that uh, sort of teaser period and all that interest is gonna come due if you haven't, uh, if you're not in a position to you pay it off at that to point. You gotta be disciplined to pay it. So you gotta have a strategy and you gotta stick to it. And so as, as you look at uh, saving money, you said six months, but don't be discouraged if you can't get well, to the six months, right? No, no one's gonna get there in a hurry. There, there are a few tricks though. Uh, if you're participating in a, a retirement uh, plan at work and you're putting in your own money, uh, you might consider cutting that back for a while. It's, now it's, see, I'm a little surprised to hear you say that, but because you also have to be disciplined to make sure you go back you do. and there, put it back in. There are conflicted goals there, but uh, short term I would assign a higher priority to having some ready cash on the sideline. You got to get back to the retirement savings as soon as you can, but uh, you know, if you're only making six or eight percent in your retirement plan versus paying out 20% interest right. in short-term debt, that's not much of a contest. Okay, that's an interesting uh, way of looking at it. All right, Woodard Pay, thank you so much from the Welch Group.